Welcome back to Magic Orthodoxy. My name is David and this is the deck review. Today we're going to look at Grotesque, uh, the deck of cards that was released um, from the United Cardists on Kickstarter. Uh, this is the Kickstarter uh, project from United Cardists. It was their 2000 14 release. Uh, all the artwork was done by a gentleman named Lortech. Uh, you might remember uh, his earlier release, he did a deck called Venexia. And if you'd like to learn more about Lortech or uh, his artwork, you can always go to halfmoonplayingcards.com. Now, uh, the meaning behind the word grotesque, um, it doesn't mean gross like you would think. Uh, grotesque is actually a uh, description of a really extravagant style of ancient Roman decorative art. Uh, it was rediscovered and then copied in Rome at the end of the 15th century and since at least the 18th century in um, both French and German as well as English, uh, the grotesque art form has come to be used as just a general way of saying the strange or the fantastic or the ugly uh, and it's often used to describe uh, either weird shapes or distorted forms such as uh, just interesting Halloween masks. And, and really, even though grotesque art mainly favors the weird and the ugly and the monstrous, um, grotesque from Lortrek, really he was trying to uh, adopt his own taste to make a deck that was both strange and beautiful. So uh, when he released this deck, um, grotesque, uh, the project was available in two editions. It was the original edition here in kind of like this very light uh, green and then the limited edition which was like this deep umber brown. Uh, and each edition has the same faces but just, just a different colored back. Um, for the sake of the, our review, we're going to look at the standard edition since I didn't open my limited edition deck. And uh, you might find out more about that later. The standard edition tux has grotesque playing cards on the front and has the ace pip with kind of like a grotesque image uh, blowing wind, kind of like uh, what you'd see in uh, a map, uh, map artwork, you know, with the cloud in the corner and he's blowing the boats. It's, that's kind of the, the art you have there. It says United Cardist 2014 Original Edition. The side over here says Made in the United States of America. And on the other side it says Buy Half Moon Playing Cards. On the bottom you're going to get a little bit of ad copy about the United States Playing Card Company, but not much. <laughs> and you're going to get an original tuck seal that says United Cardist 2014. The back design, of course, displays the back image of the back design of the cards. And you're going to get some of that uh, little kind of flourishing on the inside of the tuck flap as well. That's pretty much it for the tuck case. Now let's take a look at these cards. The grotesque deck is cut on United States Playing Card Company stock. It is B Casino stock. Uh, it does have an air cushion embossing and it does have magic finish. And if you'd like to learn more about stock or embossing, you can click this link. The back design of this deck is really kind of an homage to architecture. To kind of pick up on the art grotesque theme, you're getting a lot of straight lines and hard angles. Uh, you're going to notice a lot of kind of Roman uh, architectural influence in this, and it makes for a really beautiful back design. You're also going to see that there's a razor thin white border, but it is kind of uh, broken through a little bit in the corners by these uh, laughing and frowning faces. You're going to get the grotesque uh, face image there on the top and the bottom. And it is a two-way back design. And again, it's a really gorgeous back and very beautiful. And I think Lortech has done a wonderful job at kind of capturing this very unique uh, art form. Also with this deck, you're going to get a couple of things. Your two ad cards are really a diptych that uh, says United Cardis there in the center and grotesque and then you have a couple different faces around the top and I have no clue who these people are. <laughs> I'm sure there are people that either work for United Cardis or people that work for Half Moon Playing Cards. I'm sure one of them is Lortech and uh, you know that's about as far as I can tell you. Um, so these are also the jokers as they say joker on the tops of the sides here and so yeah your jokers are also a diptych. And you're kind of seeing that a lot now in some of the card designs, and we'll probably see a lot more of that in the future. The other thing you're going to get is you're going to get your grotesque ace of spades, which is very similar to the front of the tuck ace, that same kind of blowing uh, graphic. And it says United Cardists Annual Edition 2014. What they mean by that is United Cardists, the forum, uh, they're plan is to release a new deck of cards every single year. You might remember last year uh, I did the review for the United Cardist deck, the black and uh, really shiny green deck. 
one of, still, still, still one of my very favorite decks. And so looking forward to uh, seeing what they come up with next year. So I'm, I'm really kind of excited about that. Now with this deck, you're also going to get a couple of gas. Uh, you're going to get a blank card. Nothing really to, to show you there. <laughs> and you're going to get a King of Hearts gaff. Now, by itself, this card does not look like a gaff at all. It's just a standard King of Hearts. But if you look at the regular King of Hearts that comes with the deck, you'll see a little bit of difference. This King of Hearts has the sword going through his head, and he's making an expression as if he's in pain or in terror or shock or surprise. This King of Hearts, also with the sword going through his head, however, he's laughing. So there's a little uh, effect you could do there, um, transitioning one card to the next. Hey guys, just want to grab the camera real quick and give you guys a closer look of the grotesque deck and kind of zoom in up close so that you have just a really uh, more detailed educational view of what these cards look like and what you're getting. So these are some of the graphics on the court cards. And here is your back design, along with your King of Hearts gaff. And you can see the aces all have a unique, grotesque image in the center. Well, that's it for this deck review. As always, we recommend that you like this video, just so other people can find it a little bit faster. We also recommend that you subscribe to this channel, just to stay up to date on the latest in cards and card magic. You can also follow us on Twitter. It's twitter.com slash magicorthodoxy. You can also like our page on Facebook, which is facebook.com slash magicorthodoxy.